This video is going to be about um, components and an old style of boot, Bootstrap Studio. It's from a question uh, from Wahid about, um, I think he's got an older version of Bootstrap Studio, so he doesn't have like the one row, three columns thing as set out in this here. One row, one column, one row, two columns, etc. So the way to get around that is to just put this column in here, uh, or this is one way you can get around it. Uh, and like I've said on um, previous videos, these are all in a, in a 12 grid system. Okay, so responsive design is at this present time in a 12 grid system. So what we're gonna to have to do with the column is convert to HTML. Okay, so if you had this here, so you have your, your div class. Um, I'm just going to zoom in there if I can. Oh, no, no, it's not doing it. Anyway, so um, here we have like your, your column of 12. Okay, so if we just copy that by Control C, uh, then Control V. Okay, so now if we have that as say 6. Okay, so we just play around with this at 6. And... If you apply that, okay, this is where you get that. All right, so you have now your your two columns, if if you like. If you want to do the the um, uh, three column uh, thing there, just oops, Control C and Control V. So this is the way. I can't remember what version um, Bootstrap Studio was on when they came out with the. Uh, the one row three columns thing, but it certainly is a, a good uh, a good thing to have. So if you wanted a, a three one, this you could fake it like this, just apply it and like that. Okay. Uh, so it's it's okay to do that. If I'm not sure if it was Wahid who asked about images as well about um, how how you would do that uh, with the columns. I, I, I know somebody's just asked us that and I cannot remember who it was. Um, so if we can just try and get some images on here. Uh, not being very successful there, am I? Um, so just get this tree here and put that on there. And get this bird here and stick it in there as well. Okay, so um, if we have this particular image and somebody asked about how to um, you know how to uh, manipulate the size or something like that so if we just go back to the two uh, image or column should I say so we just go six and we take this and this one away okay so we have a bit more to play with there all right so um, the image there you could you could convert to HTML and just edit code and your image that could be that there if you did say style you could do it that way by uh, create that it's not doing it is it okay we just put us um, you can put a style on here okay so just put style equals um, with 200 pixels um, and then height uh, 150 pixels and I'm just giving this as a demonstration I mean it could be anything you want so you just apply that okay so that and uh, if I put put this here and control X and just put this custom code and we'll stick it in the first column there okay so just apply that okay so this one here has gone out the way um, uh, just a minute on that one. So if we knock that one down um, and we come to this other one, the tree, and we just go um, IMG source equals tree dot, no, it's a tree dot JPEG uh, and Oops, I don't know, I can I say that? Um, forward slash, close the bracket. There we go, I should apply that there. 
and we can do a style on here as well as style equals it's probably better doing it than the styles actually but I'm doing it uh, with uh, 200 pixels um, height 150 okay so these are just demonstration purposes only should have done it in the um, and the styles really but I didn't anyway apply okay so what's that one doing there that needs to go okay so then you could like put them uh, with the uh, margin left and you know your display block so this would look like something like this on uh, on your browser okay like that and then you would just like I said just put uh, margin autos and uh, margin left auto margin right auto uh, I'm just going through this very quickly because I, I haven't really got much time um, and display a block. So that's basically how you would do the columns if you haven't got any rows and things like that in Bootstrap Studio if you haven't got a, a, a later edition um, and then you can put your um, images wherever you want. Like I said probably it would have been better doing styles but um, I just thought I'd try and get this video in uh, very quickly because I, I, I really don't have much time to uh, to mess around I've got things to do um, but I thought that was a, a really good question um, really because uh, you know the people do have older versions of Bootstrap Studio I know I, I used to struggle as well uh, when people were asking for things and, and I, I didn't have them anyway so uh, again thanks for watching and thanks for listening